All right. And uh, we're in the afterlife. This is actually what, what we really look like. This is our, like, true form, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, actually, in, in this game, we don't play as a single character. We play as a spirit who is uh, reborn. And uh, here's Velus, the god of the underworld. Dead. You've made it so far without dying. Where am I? Thou art in the underworld, a place where thou hast been before. Who are you? I mean, we've met him already, but okay. I am Velus, god of this realm. Hast thou forgotten this? Apparently I hit my head. Or the golem hit my head. Aren't you a god of livestock? Wait, is he? I've always known him as the as like an underworld god. Is he of livestock? Maybe both. Maybe he's both, I don't know. Those one god followers shall pay for their ignorant lies about me. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I want to return to life. Thou must depart and find a new mortal host to possess. Why are you doing this? I am not pleased with the fate that hath been written for thee, but thou hast the power to change it, for better or worse. I'm sure he'd love to see he's the, he's the god of cows. <laughs> I want to be the same person as before. That body is no longer bound to the world. Thou must now possess another to continue by thy existence. Thou art, thou art fortunate to even have this opportunity. I'm going to turn me back. I shall guide thee to mortal, mortals desperate enough to accept thy possession. All right, and when we reborn, we have an option of three people. Oh, well, this guy's an herbalist, so apparently he's my jam. Uh, yeah, magic six sixty. Four, that's decent. Alchemy, decent. Intelligence is the same. Uh, Alright, Lubisa, Goran, Miwutin. Let's see. Right, Lubisa was known as a village healer who learned the art of nature and healing from his grandfather. From a young age, he showed an interest in making potions and lotions uh, to heal the wounds and injuries. <laughs> Make a coat. <laughs> I mean, my previous character, Boris, was a cultist. Like, that was his backstory. <laughs> he is a former cultist of Chernobok, I believe. Uh, let's see what... Po making potions, yeah, the locals spread word of his abilities, and many came to him, seeking help with various health issues. However, his reputation reached the ears of those in power, and they saw the potential in his skills to turn the tide of war. He was approached by soldiers from both sides, but he only helped those he believed were on the side of good. The rulers, fear fearing the power he held, made a plan to capture him. How good was his healing? They, they, they were fearing his power. They sent a fake injured soldier to approach him, hoping to capture him and bring him to justice. But Lubisa was suspicious and managed to adjust the medication dosage, just enough to make the soldier faint. Realizing he was in danger, Lubisa fled to the mountains, where he lived in isolation, becoming one with nature. He honed his skills and discovered the power of magic, which he used to help those who sought his help. Villagers whispered of his power, and some even claimed that he could control the elements and cast spells, but no one dared to seek him out for fear of what he might do. Bro was actually a necromancer, the ultimate healer. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the, your cousin's fine. Here he is. Yeah, so, but because I'm playing a druid, like, magic skill is the highest, his alchemy is the highest, his intelligence is tied. Guran is definitely not fit to be a druid, so I won't be picking him. He also has a short backstory. Jeez. Guran, the farmer. Another bad year in his field just ended. He had to pay taxes and give to soldiers on what he managed to gather after so much work. He is standing now, angry and with an empty stomach. This is not just. This is not a life worth living. Screw this farm. I will leave this place 
and find a life worth living. So this guy just is bored. He wants a new life. He, he's a Disney princess. <laughs> and we have Mutin, the priest, born in Bora village. He, spends, he spent his whole life in a monastery. After some time, he noticed that the other priests were not acting in accordance to what they were teaching. I, I, I could like, I could say a few things here, but I'd rather not. And he was disappointed in them. He left the monastery. Currently, he's living a peace. He's living peacefully near the lake, having just finished fishing. He is thinking, gods, if you exist, make me your servant and show me your path. All right. So I'm gonna just go with you, beast. Although, what's what's Mewutin's thing? has a 70% chance to spend no mana on a spell, but takes 30% more damage from all sources. Oh, damn, that's... Oh, that's brutal. Uh, yeah, Lubis does have the most majestic hair. He is the most handsome. <laughs> At least from these three. But no, the mute in taking 30% more damage, that's brutal. Uh, bravery will increase faster. Mana will regenerate faster. It's actually... Good. Strength is lowered, but, you know, uh, I don't need strength as a druid, so it's fine. Guran. When sprinting, you also attack 50% fa faster, but faster stamina drain. Potions are less potent, well, that sucks. But food is better, and uh, that's something. Mewtin sounds like a snitch. He kind of looks like a snitch, too. <laughs> But Lubisa has a chance to gather more plants. Can see further in spirit form, which I have not been using spirit form at all. And my camouflage is lower. That's... Nah. It's fine, I guess. Let's go with Lubisa. Do you want to change the class? No, keep, keep him druid. And here we are. We're just reborn. First death... I don't think this is my first death. People claim to have seen Chuma spreading plague in the northeastern parts of the valley. It is believed that Chuma will cast plague on people living in dirty houses. Offerings of food, clean water, basil, and a comb may make her go away. Northeast. Interesting. Uh, death is a natural part of the game, and it gives you the opportunity to continue your journey. I've already, like, switched characters, so... You can retrieve any lost items at the location you died, check the side quests. When starting a new character, consider picking the same mastery and keeping the same one. Yeah, I've... Yeah, because I already... Yeah, my first character, you know, died. Oh, I know. All right. Wake up, Lubisa. Big ol' hedgehog. Big old chunky boy. So this is where we respond. Uh, unfortunately, I am very broke. Oh, you have the awesome spell book. Oh, that's actually, that saves me a lot of trouble, actually. Uh, all right. Well, well, now what? All right, well, first of all, Boris is equipment. Uh, he didn't actually have much equipment, but yeah. Let's at least go pick up my old stuff. Whatever few things I had carrying. Oh, actually, I can also. Ah, I forgot how dark it is. I forgot how good Boris's ability was. That he could illuminate everything around him. Right, so I did actually read these things last time. I did pick them up. And now I can actually pick them up again. It's actually really useful. Get some loot, get some potions. Get me started. There we go. Ring of fire. I mean, I don't I don't have fire spells, fortunately. I'm just, you know, wind and ice. Uh, let's increase my 
ice a little bit. Now, uh, what else can I do? Crowd control last longer. Crowd control is good. Attacks speed for my spells. Always a solid choice. I just max out my ice spells. That's fine. Alright, and I guess I gotta travel through the dark. Well, I hope you guys enjoy darkness, because this is it. You've traveled quite a distance. You've traversed quite a distance. Uh, eh, aesthetic. Uh, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? God damn. Yeah, I have, like, nothing on me right now. Oh, I do have my torch. So I can... Okay. I can at least, yeah, see a little bit further. Ah, fuck you, these Drekovac. Oh, Drekovac. No, I think it was a Ch. Drekovac. These things are... Goddamn terrifying. Uh, magic armor 20? Sure. Anything I can get, really. Some potions? Give me those potions. I got nothing else. But yeah, no, the, the Drekovac are terrifying. They're these... Creatures that... Uh, appear at night and they sound like crying babies. It's the absolute worst. Ah, no, I did not mean to fight the damn thing. Alright. Quest finished, yeah. I mean, he didn't really have a lot on him, but... Uh, the potions... Uh, yeah, no, I guess this is it. Uh, the gauntlets. May as well. Extra protection. I currently have nothing anyway. But the thing about the quest is... When I completed... Diogenes' quest to give everything away. I was awarded God's favor. And what God's favor does is give you points that you can spend right here. Right after I finish collecting things, I gotta collect things as well. This is an R this is a RPG. There it is. I have a hundred and one God's favor. I can buy divine weapons and divine armor, but it is random. So it might not be something useful to me. It definitely won't be useful to me, honestly. I can buy a positive talent. Remove a negative. What was my negative talent? Do they even have a negative? Yeah, lower camouflage, which is... It's... whatever. Let's buy a positive talent. Yeah. Why the hell not? Did it work? Oh, brawler, which is not useful. When drunk, I deal more damage. Okay, that was worthless. Another talent. What is it? Nimbo. What does Nimbo do? A 10% chance to dodge attacks. Sure. Spartan. Oh, that was a good one, I think. Requires less food and increases endurance growth by 25. Fast travel consumes less food. That's... Slightly useful, I suppose. Swimmer? When will I, will I ever need swimming? Can swim, can swim in deep water much faster. Okay, another one. Executioner, oh that was a good one. Uh, kill is a target if my attack leaves it below 10% health. Solid. Quick either. I instantly gain the benefits of food. Uh, that was an easy one to get, I think you could just get it on your own actually. 
It's whatever. Scars. Higher chances of scaring away enemies. Interesting. What else is there? Strong. Strength increases. Okay, I don't need strength, so it's whatever. Lucky. What does Lucky do? Has a 30% higher damage compared to default to find a 30% higher chance to find the rare loot. Okay. Indomitable. Is immune to stuns. And drunkard. I don't think as it could. It becomes drunk with every drink in the in the drunk status. Lasts two times longer. How is that good? I mean, I guess it works with Tavern Brawler, but I don't consider this a good a good feat. Okay. I I think I'm I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I can buy a ring of power. The one ring to rule them all. Although, again, it's random. It might not be useful for me. Let's buy a random armor piece. What did I get? Yeah, that was useful. Heading for Mordor. I mean, we might. There are orcs in this game. Uh, so there might be a mortar in there somewhere. Uh, Alright, what else can I buy? A ring of power? What ring will you give me? Probably nothing useful, honestly. Hunter, the character now sets traps instantly. Yep, nothing useful. <laughs> I can probably do this for a while and I won't get anything useful. Honestly, the positive talents might just be the best one, because... Nah. I mean, I can I can sell these, actually. I can sell the things I don't need. And it should be good. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's travel. Let's see what I can buy. Let's see what the things I can restore that I've previously lost. Oh, the camera's shaky. Okay, it's fixed. Oh, was that an earthquake in the mountain? Oh, that oh that wasn't just the game glitching out. Was that an earthquake in the mountains? Everyone felt it, and animals are running down towards the valley. Something has happened in the mountains, and no one knows what it is. Curious. Any quests? Alright, the worst of the south. The rabbits are acting strange. Cool. I'm gonna sell you some things I don't need. Because I really need the cash. I'll sell you this too, and I'll sell you this as well, and I'll consume this one. Alright, that's fine. So, somewhere to the south, define south for me. Is it like this area? Is it like all the way down here to the south? Like, what do you... Oh, is it this? Nope. Uh, so, the path of non-doing is... All the way over here. How do you even get there? Like from this from this side? I guess from from Braza. I have to go through this mountain. Is this the mountain I that something's happening? That the earthquake was caused? Also northeast. Something was happening in the northeast as well. I just gotta remember where to read all my things. Yeah, there it is. Logs. Where would the vent? So there's a plague in the northeastern part of the valley. 
and an earthquake in the mountains. And there's a cave trow. Yeah, so things are happening that don't get put into your quest journal. You just gotta go and do them. And you gotta find where they are. So that's actually that, that's pretty nice, actually. Slightly annoying, and it, because I do lose track of what I'm doing very, very quickly. So not the most ideal for me, but you know, still neat. Let's see, are these guys selling anything I can use? Anything useful for me? Yeah, I do not have the money to buy the bag. I will need to buy some bags soon and quick. Morana's blood, yeah, I'll sell that. <laughs> we stand a broke king. <laughs> uh, it's a temporary setback. There you go. Yeah, I'll buy this bag or. Wait. Hold on. Is there a different bag I can buy? Because that one's specifically for weapons. You... Buy trophies. So it's this. This. And this. Yeah, you don't have anything. No, some end up here after being taken from the heads of the... D okay, so you find your helmets from deceased soldiers. Good to know. Alright, let's buy this bag. Oh, I'll probably end up reg regretting it. But we'll see. Well, let's cook some food. We're gonna need food. There we go. Officially have some sausages. I'm gonna cook some meat. Pure old plain meat. I'm pretty sure the dead soldiers' possessions aren't cursed or anything. No, no, definitely not. Why would you ever think that? All right, so that's done with. I do need, I do need to buy some pants. I'm I don't have any pants. I'm currently I'm currently go going Winnie the Pooh. By oh, the way, hold on. I think there's try to behave in the castle. I think there's an achievement to like walk around naked. What in the world? Put on some clothes for everyone's sake. Your junk's missing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, I think Braza Village had some things. Yeah, because I'm definitely gonna need to spend some time. Uh, regaining everything I've lost and it's currently night fun oh the merchants are asleep can I make any meaningful potion I can make a poison potion, but nothing else really of value. Time to rob them. I mean, I can. There are things you can steal. Although, I think these guys will see. Alright, let's, let's just sleep until it's day. It's currently 4 in the morning. 
Let's sleep until 7. Three, three hours of sleep. That That's normal, right? That's perfectly acceptable. Bought a village. Nestled with within the swamps has unveiled a ray of hope in the form of a free public kitchen. This initiative was made possible through a generous donation, I wonder who, providing a daily meal to the residents and offering solace in the face of their ongoing hardships. Challenged by limited resources and few opportunities, life in Bara has often been an uphill battle. However, the establishment of the public kitchen has brought a renewed optimism to the community fostering a sense of togetherness and support. As the aroma of fresh cooked meals fills the air, uh, Bara Village becomes a symbol of hope, inspiring others to extend compassion and create a world where everyone has access to basic necessities. Well, doesn't that sound like a dream? So where is the kitchen? You, you, so house upgrades? You have given everything. Yeah, I have. Hey, howdy, hi. No empty stomachs here. May I have a free meal, please? Enjoy your meal. Alright, thank you. I have my meal. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, let's come on. Walk over the bridge. Walk on the bridge. Come on, Lubisa. I believe in you. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything for sale? You do not. You do have pants, though. I'm gonna buy the pants. The helmet? Yeah, yeah there's a cool helmet. But I'm gonna keep mine. And is there a merchant here? Yeah, there is. Show me what you have. Now, I don't need your spell books, so I'm fine. Uh, ice shards now deal 2% of the target's current health is damage per second for 3 seconds. Don't mind if I do. Hello? So ice shards is the ice shards. Yeah, is the main spell I use. Yeah. All right. Well, that's awesome. So if I use it in the beginning, it will deal massive damage. Toes out on the internet. Yeah, enjoy enjoy them toes. I'm sure nothing wrong will happen walking around barefoot in this place. Uh, uh, come on, move over. Right. Thank you for reminding me about, about the shoes. This guy here, one of these was the armor. Uh, armor? No, just gloves. Oak bark. Gear in this bag. Weighs 50% less. But no shoes. Ooh, this gives bonus health and bonus mana. That's actually good. Oh, I actually could use that. I think I uh, blew my load too early on the fancy pants. Although the fancy pants do give more mana. This one gives mana and health. So I'm gonna... No, I can't afford them. No, I can't, I can't afford them. There we go. But yeah, I am broke again, though. So, uh, there's that. Right, well... I guess let's see what the final quest is, if I can even, if I can even do it. And with my current lousy gear. Uh, let's travel to Braza, and I think we can, 
I think we can pass. Can we pass through here? If not just from the side. Is this a structure? This looks like a castle. I think this might be some kind of tower thing. Might need to go there. We'll see. Oh, is this a quest? I'll be concise. We must return a demon to the underworld. Are you interested? Who are you? As one of Morana's priests, our duty is to perform her bidding on earth, for everything must eventually embrace death. And who is that demon? His name is Tawason. Oh, it's a Tawason. What's the reward? The reward is 5,000 coins. I am interested. Your task is to hunt down a demon named Tawason, located on the hill west of Bara. Beware, he is invincible on that hill. So how do I kill him if he's invincible? You can find additional notes on the person who last tracked him in the library on the west shores. Perhaps there lies your answer. Yeah, I did, I did read this the last time. It was a very specific thing. So I'm not going to currently kill the Tawasam. Let's save that. You don't have anything useful either. Okay. Alright, what's the last quest of non-doing? Let's save as well. So this is going to take a while. Because I also do not have my rabbit talisman anymore. So I'm gonna have to walk the good old fashioned way. Now that's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's been so long since I last walked. And I'm also barefoot, I don't even have any shoes. That sucks even more. What did you do to the poor bunny? Nothing, I gave the talisman away. I, I, I was the poor bunny. Hello? And... You would be? Smash Horde! VTubers went touching grass for the first time. Hey look, I'm a leshy. I have grass on my shoulders. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so you want to smash the horde, big buddy? You know, I don't mean to stereotype, but you look like you're part of the horde. Who are you? Smash, smash, horde, smash. How are you today? Egg? There are some horde members down the hill. Horde? Yes, horde. Horde. Why am I shoved up his ass? Hey, you good, buddy? Uh, why are you attacking me? All right, I think he glitched out for a second. I think because when I attacked the horde members, I attacked him by accident as well. Uh, this is the same armor as mine. Fine. All right. Well. Okay. That was a thing. Thankfully, I apparently knew that there were Horde members over there. Because I didn't know that, but my character apparently knew. So that's good. Apparently, he knows more than I do, which does make sense. Because I tried to king shame him. <laughs> And some werewolves. Alright, collect more things. Coins. 
valuables, things I can sell. Yes. Ah, uh, these guys are... Okay. Is the lightning bolt working? Oh, I think it is working. Stop running away, you little shit. Ah, no. Okay, this guy can actually kill me right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> this... He actually, he actually legit <laughs> could have killed me. Uh, Matt, werewolves, man. Apparently we're in wolf country right now. Uh, I'd rather not meet any of these guys again. Werewolf? There's nowhere. Not anymore. Wolf over here and over there and just scattered everywhere. So I, I think I'm just going forward. We are officially going up the mountain. All right. Let's put some light. My stamina running out very quickly. Oh, there's a split, 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 pluck, 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 pluck. I'm all right. That's now spl splish splashing around. Ah, oh, we're almost there. Sound design on point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a very good splotch. My endurance is increasing because just because I'm walking. <laughs> All right, and we're going down now. No, uh, I do not have any more heal. I'm gonna need to. Yeah, I definitely need to collect. Things? Oh, you were one of the... Okay, no, I'm going away. Uh, this is one of the bosses. If you decide to go the other route... I'm currently doing the path of non-doing. Uh, following the one god. If you decide to follow the... Perun, if the, to follow Perun and the others... Uh, you gotta kill that guy over here. That's what the quest is. My quest leads me over here. Over here. What what is great in man is that he is a bridge and not a goal. Interesting. Alright, we're here. Now oh, uh save. Let's let's save first. I have no idea what's what awaits. Even though this is the path of non-doing, so I expect some kind of pacifist philosophical challenge. I don't actually know what awaits. Anything around this tower? Nope. Oh, I can see a person up there. I assume you're the person I gotta talk to. Come on, come on, climb up, climb up, thank you. Nothing here. Yellow. Oh, the eternal judge, that's, that's lovely. 
Your soul is ready to be evaluated. To fulfill, to fulfill this purpose, I shall pose two questions that demand your honest response. Are you prepared to receive these inquiries? Who are you? As a custodian of cosmic records, I am one of two scribes entrusted with documenting the misdeeds of individuals. I meticulously chronicle every wrongdoing committed by each soul. Oh, that sounds exhausting. Is your heart heavier than a feather? Basically, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing now. What about the ones who write about good? Who is to judge what is right and what is wrong? Now let's ask that. Indeed. A soul that has attained a significant level of growth will naturally exhibit what you would perceive as goodness. Hence, the act of judgment revolves around the evolutionary state of one's soul. Uh, there was... yeah. What about the ones who write about good? The ancient deities condemned him into the depths of the underworld, for they sought only... For they sought only transgressions to pass judgment upon. The tides of fate are shifting. I'm ready. The initial query is as follows. Have you discovered the true joy of your earthly existence? Have I discovered the true joy of my earthly experience? I'm, I would say no. I don't think I have, Judge. Arrive when you discover it. Okay, fuck you. I thought we were being honest here. Okay, so I, I guess I have discovered it. Sure. The subsequent inquiry is as follows. Has your life bestowed joy upon others? I have completed several quests. I have helped people. Have I bestowed the joy upon them? Sure, maybe. It's possible. Ah. I possess a comprehensive record of every malevolent deed you have committed on this planet. Shall we proceed to examine it together? What about what I did in the other world? What other world? In the realm beyond, the notions of good and bad hold no sway, for such labels are confined solely to this earthly domain. So, he's gonna read all my wrong deeds right now. Is that what's happening? Damn. Accompany me. Okay. This will unveil the truth about you. Oh, it is a scale. It is the, a feather. It's... <laughs> it's... It is the Anubis' scale. Are you prepared to receive your ultimate verdict? I don't need to be judged by you. I think this is how you get cursed. Yeah, let's hear it. Upon scrutinizing the essence of your soul, it is evident that your luminosity outweighs the shadows. Hence, you have successfully triumphed in this trial. Do this new with a dragon, how can he judge? <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe he is. Yeah, we don't know. Dragons shapeshift. In a pivotal moment, you were presented with the opportunity to sacrifice the life of a companion in exchange for coveted witch apples. For coveted witch apples. Yet you consciously chose to reject such a position. Thus, you have successfully navigated and emerged victorious from this particular test. It is recorded that you have re refrained from taking human lives, except in cases where it is necessary. According to the records, your instances of stealing appear to be within acceptable limits, without excessive transgressions. It is noted that you have refrained from taking the lives of animals unless compelled to do so by circumstances beyond your control. I have killed quite a few animals, actually. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest here, I've, I've killed a few animals. As such, you have successfully passed this test. Acceptable amount of stealing. I mean, I guess you can be perfectly good, right? This... Oh, wait, wait, hold on a minute. Hold the fucking... Wait, what? 
Were these guys always here? These guys were not always here. This is... Wait, right? I would have noticed them if they were here, right? Or am I just completely blind? Because my camera was zoomed in all the way close in. What the hell? Continue. Oh, they appear as he judges me. Oh, that was freaky as hell. By aligning yourself with the human side in defense against the horde, you have demonstrated bravery. Thus, you have successfully passed this test. In a particular instance, you demonstrated compassion and saved the imp, thereby showcasing a commendable act of kindness. Consequently, during that specific occasion, you have, you have successfully passed the test at hand. By selflessly offering assistance to the people of Braza, without seeking anything in return, you have exemplified the virtue of altruism. Thus, you have successfully passed that particular test. Your benevolent acts have extended aid and support to numerous individuals in this world. Whom did I, whom did I help? More than you had to. You do donated to the poor. You helped the forest spirit. I am a forest spirit. You even helped a dead soul in the inn. Oh, oh yeah, the skeleton. was uh, For some reason, the skeleton was afraid of a Drekovich. Weird. It is brought to attention that you possess the capacity to offer further assistance to those in need, yet chose to disregard their plight. Okay, I mean, okay, I haven't completed every quest in the game. Just sue me, okay? What do you want from me? Should I have completed everything before this? What happens now? Perfection eludes... Oh, however, there is still potential for redemption and improvement. The judgment has been made. Your soul is deemed... Oh, uh, wait, what was that? Something zoomed past. Something zoomed on the bridge. Oh, that's Murana. Oh, that's that's Ice Mommy. Uh, okay, well, that's that's not good. Your soul has been deemed ready for ascension. However, it is necessary for you to undergo the process of reincarnation once for each failed test. Through these experiences, you have attained the re requ the readiness required. For the next stage of your journey. What does ascending mean? It signifies that you have surpassed the experiences of this realm and you are prepared to embark upon a new realm uh, as, an, as an evolved soul. Uh, hello Domshi, thank you for the boop. Okay, wait, hold on the fucking minute. If I reincarnate, does that mean I'm gonna lose all the attributes I spent so many favor points I'm getting? Ah, screw me! Did I, did I massively screw myself over? <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, well, I'm ready. Also, why is Morana here? To do so, go and plant this flower in the sacred... Go, the flower presents your soul in this realm. He cannot be ready. You're supposed to prevent things like this from happening. I am already doing what I am supposed to do. And you, Morto, you were supposed to help us. And you did the opposite. Such a shame. Aw, oh, mommy's disappointed. And she took off her clothes. For some reason, Murana's, uh... Ooh. Departing from the realm to embark on your next quest might end the game and close the door to return you to this world forever. Therefore, it's recommended to complete any unfinished business in this world before setting off on your next quest. Epilogue. Ah. Don't pretend you're not into it. Oh, I am not. M M Morana? Oh, Morana is a mommy. Wait, hold on a minute. 
Uh, where is the logs? No, not the logs. Almanac. Gods. Murana. I mean, okay, it's not her full image. Uh, but it is part of it. But she is definitely a mommy. <laughs> Murana and Mokosh as well. And then there's the one god. There's Faruk. I'm in here as well somewhere. Wait, hold on. Where is... No, yeah, there, there's the Leshy. Well, there's the Leshy. The emo aesthetic is on point. Uh, yeah, I mean, she is the goddess of winter and death. Alright, well, I guess this is the end of the game. So, to go... Yeah, Sacred Oak. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna finish the game. Because there are still things to do. I don't think I explored everything over here, did I? Uh, no, I'm gonna... Hold on, I, need, I need food. So, yeah, I'm gonna just continue. I'm not gonna finish the game. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the final quest. Let's explore.